So another company that um, announced some really, really cool stuff this week is Huawei. Uh, they announced a very, very cool watch and a very cool uh, a smart band fitness tracker with a couple of cool tweaks called the Talk Band B2, obviously that being the second iteration of their Talk Band. You take a look at it, unbelievably cool little device, very, very comfortable to wear, etc. It's got a touch screen on it, so you can swipe through a whole bunch of features. What it'll do is there's a stopwatch feature for it. It also uh, tracks your sleep cycles. Um, it'll count the number of steps that you take, all right, the number of calories burned, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What it also does, it's got a six-axis accelerometer, which essentially means it can discern what kind of activity you're doing. It can discern between running or hiking, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But that's not all. What I really, really like about this device is the fact that it doubles as a Bluetooth headset. So you pop this little bit out, and you can stick it into your ear. Right? And you can use it as a hands-free kit, which is extremely cool, all right? Um, all over Bluetooth, etc. all right? And it'll identify uh, who you're speaking to, etc., etc. on the display on the outside. When you're done with it, you clip it back in, right? And it's on your arm, really, really comfortable, all right? Huawei's also designed a, a, a set of applications that go with this because this is also really interesting in that it's one of the first devices from an Android vendor that works with both Android and iOS. So it works with Apple devices, right? There's an entire um, uh, range of applications and stuff that you can use, but this one is extremely uh, cool. It's from Huawei themselves, and what it'll do, it'll track all of the key features about what the uh, watch has, it'll kind of display it, uploads it into the cloud, etc. It's also an open device, so what you'll find is a whole bunch of the uh, really, really popular open applications on the market, the likes of Strava, Endomondo, uh, Map My Ride, etc., will all accept information from this, which is kind of cool. Um, at the same time, what is really, really nice about the device is it, um, it also doubles, if you have a Huawei device, a, you know, a, a, a Huawei tablet or a smartphone, as a remote shutter for the camera. I think this is extremely cool. So let's quickly find the camera app over here. Launch the camera application. You can see there's me on it, all right? And if I scroll through the features over here, of course, now I'm going to struggle to find it. <laughs> All right, well, you get the idea. You have the ability to just tap this and it'll take a photo remotely. Really, really cool for taking those long shots or uh, posing a picture, then going into the shot, uh, maybe a group shot or whatever the case is, tapping your arm and it takes a photo. Pretty exciting.